Hi folks, um, I'm Miss Klein. Wanted to give you a little bit of introduction to the class before we meet on Friday. There's a few things you need to do. I apologize. I'm starting my summer semester with a delightful summer cold, so I apologize if I'm coughing or whatever through this announcement. Um, all right, so this is public speaking hybrid version, which means we will meet those five Fridays that are listed to present speeches and do some course material, but really the other half is online, so you have to do all the online work as well. Sometimes when I do hybrid, I'll have people who really won't focus on the online part. They'll do the stuff in class, and you cannot pass and be successful if you do that. Um, <clears throat> Because we're meeting Friday, I'm not going to go through everything in the syllabus. I just want you to read through it all very closely. It's got a lot of different policies in there, a lot of different ways that I'm going to do things. Um, read through all of that, and then Friday morning we will go over the highlights of it. I'll answer any questions and all of that kind of stuff. But I'm not going to make you go through that right now when you can read it and we can discuss it face-to-face -face on Friday. But go through everything in the class. Look at all the tabs, the discussion board, the journal assignments. Um, I think I've still got to put all the, make available all the stuff in the assignments, so you may not see it if you're in there looking around this morning. Um, but look over everything. You can certainly email me and ask me questions before Friday if you want, but um, just know Friday we are going to go through everything. So for Friday there are a few things that you need to do, okay? Um, first, there is an introduction discussion where you can go in there and um, tell everybody a little bit about yourself and you guys can start sort of getting to know each other um, before Friday. Um, I want you to do a preliminary journal entry. Uh, go into the journal tab and all I really want you to do, and you have to do this before class on Friday, is go in and just basically say, you know, do you have any prior public speaking experience? If you've taken it before, maybe you, you know, was a, were an officer in high school or you, you know, whatever it is. Um, do you have any prior experience? What do you think your strengths will be? What do you think your weaknesses will be? Are you really nervous about it? Do you enjoy public speaking? I doubt I'll get few, uh, many of those. I know most people don't enjoy public speaking. But just kind of like where you are before class starts. Because every time you give a speech, you're going to then follow it up with a journal entry evaluating yourself. And Friday, you're going to do a little tiny short speech. So that's why you need to do this before class on Friday so that you've sort of gotten that out of the way. And then when you tell your story on Friday, then you'll have another one to write about that. So please um, go into the intro discussion, do your preliminary journal, um, just a paragraph. It doesn't have to be a big, long, involved thing. Just a little paragraph. And then finally, on Friday, I'm going to ask you to do a personal experience speech, which is a fancy way of saying tell a story about something that happened to you. Okay? In the intro discussion, you're going to tell each other, you know, about yourselves and, and discover, you know, things you have in common and stuff like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... But this is really just tell us a story of something that happened to you. It could be something that happened uh, yesterday. It could be something that happened when you were a little kid, three weeks ago. Think of it as the kind of story like when it happens, you go, oh, my God, I have to tell somebody about this. Or the kind of story that when you become friends with somebody, you always eventually end up telling them the story about the time you whatever. It could be funny. It could be serious. Whatever. As long as it's appropriate to class. Um, it's fine, okay? Um, I won't be timing them. I won't be grading them other than for, you know, that you did it for participation. The two purposes of this are, one, for you to get the first, like, I'm up here and everybody's looking at me and I have to talk out of the way. Um, and then second, for me to kind of see where you are before we've really done any course material or anything, okay? Um... So be prepared to do that. The only other thing, if you can, would be a good idea before Friday, if you can figure out what you want to do for your first actual graded speech on the 12th, that would be good. The 12th is a process speech, which means 
um, you're going to teach us how to do something, how to change a tire, how to wrap a present, how to make brownies, how to change a diaper, you know, whatever. If you can figure out what you want to do it about before Friday, that would be great. If not, you can always email it to me later, but I will have a sheet on Friday for people to sign up and say what they're going to do if you know by then. Um, <coughs> I will try to approve all of your topics just to make sure that you're on the right track and you've chosen the right kind of thing, like for persuasive, that you're not trying to do something that's really just more informative or vice versa. Um, so if you can figure out that by Friday, that'd be good. Um, I'm trying to think anything else I want to mention to you guys before Friday. You have an OER for this class, I've told quite a few people and I put and already via email, meaning you don't have to buy a textbook. It's an open educational resource where you will have um, readings on particular topics and they will be available in the course shell. You can see them now if you go ahead and, and go to that reading archive tab. You can see where all the readings are. I'm going to restructure them because um, I don't think the quizzes are going to follow the same exact order as the the readings as they're listed, so I will probably break those up a little bit. But but um, that's where you will do your readings. And if you want to go ahead and start with the first few that are about the importance of public speaking, speech communication process, nervousness delivery, if you want to start those few first three or four, that wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and do at least by the end of this week, if not by Friday. Um, I think that's it. The only other thing is a really important thing. Normally this class starts at um, 9. This Friday and the next Friday maybe, we probably, we're going to have to start at 9.30. I know this Friday we'll be starting at 9.30 instead. Um, the reason being I have to drop my son off is he didn't get out of school till June 12th and I have to drop him off at 8.10. It takes me an hour and 10 minutes to get to campus. So I can't get there by 9. I can get there by 9.30 as long as there's no giant traffic jam. So just be there at 9.30 this Friday. Probably going to be the same way the next time, but the other three will be 9 o'clock. <coughs> Sorry to mess around with the time so early, but um, I really don't have any choice because I can't just put the kid in front of the school <laughs> when nobody's there and say good luck to you, kindergartner. Um, so 9.30 Friday. Do your discussion, preliminary journal entry, be ready to tell your story, persuasive topic if you can, and I think that's it. I know that seems like a lot, but I mean, this is a summer class. If you haven't done a summer class before, it's basically we have to cover the same amount of material as the 16-week class, but in 10. So it is going to move really fast, so just, you know, keep on top of things, um, and uh, I'll see all you guys Friday, all right? Have a great week.